Today we're going to have a closer look at a sneaker that everyone has forgotten for decades, it seems. But you guys know me, that's not going to happen here. So let's go ahead and let's get it. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Thank you very much for stopping by once again. My name is Devagaro, I am your host. And first off, this month guys, because of you, we've had a spectacular start of the year. It's just amazing, we've gained so many subscribers. We're super close to that 300 subscribers objective for the end of this month and we're on track we're gonna get there with your help so thank you very much for tuning in remember to subscribe hit the notification bell leave a like and also drop a comment i'm always engaged and usually i come back to everybody or at least most of of you guys so it's always fun to have a chat so today we're gonna mix it up a bit all right we're not just gonna keep on with Adidas and uh, Nike and Nike and a ton of all that stuff. You know, it's it's pretty good, cool, all that jazz, fine. But um, I want this channel not to be just boxed in into those two brands. Before diving into the review, for all of you who are not familiar with Rude, let me just give you a little bit of background as to the origins of the brand. So first off, the brand was established back in 2013 in Los Angeles by Ruggi Villaseñor, and he immigrated from Philippines at the age of 11 and to live in Los Angeles. Now it has become one of the most respected and sophisticated designer brands in the streetwear culture. Let's dive into this review, okay? So first of all, let's look at the box. And as I was saying, it's a Puma and Rude collaboration. I just love it. So let's go ahead and have a look. So first off, it's a silver and white box. And um, you have the tag towards one side of it. Um, I am a US 13 for Puma. They have a slightly different scale. For them, it's 47. Great, now let's peek inside the box. As you can see, the shoes come wrapped in Puma and Rude wrapping paper. And I just love that detail. That's awesome. Everybody should be doing that. Uh, honestly, guys, I mean, if you want to charge me a buck more, fine, whatever. But I just think that, you know, it just gives it a lot more character. So wrapping them up or unwrapping them. Now we can see that you have both shoes um, wrapped separately in another sheet of paper. Now this one isn't branded, so let's pull both out. So inside the box, there is um, a bit, a little sticker over there. I guess that is uh, quality assurance. Um, not a big deal, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, just in case you guys want to legit check. Um, so this is how the box looks all around and the front right there. As always, front to back, the Puma Cell King Rood collaboration features a quilted upper made out of kangaroo leather for added comfort. And you got to remember that this was originally a very, very sophisticated at the time football boot or soccer boot. And I just love the fact that Rude decided to keep the quilted padding and all that just to keep that soccer vibe. I, I, it's just amazing. And then as we make our way up towards the shoelaces area, we have the ridges over here on the eyelets and they're, they're made out of nubuck. So very prime materials. Behind the shoelaces, we have a tongue in leather, the same high quality leather that has Puma and Rude branding. Now, towards the tip, if we continue our way up towards the tip of the tongue, we have this flappable or fold over tongue, which is also very cool. It's detachable. You can totally just detach it and rock them without it. Sock liner tells you how Rude takes this very seriously. And the reason is because it has leather inside. So you usually don't see that, all right? And for everybody that 
quality, you know, they're asking for quality on Jordans or quality on AJ1 mids or whatever. I mean, there's a ton of other brands out there that are giving us a lot of quality, but we just need to, you know, be open to considering other brands or let's say brands that others had forgotten. Then behind it, right behind on the heel, we have Puma branding. Now here, this is very cool because on the right shoe, you have Puma branding. And then on the left heel, you have Rude. So you have an R8 for Rude. And then on the other foot, you would have the Puma logo. Now looking at the mid panel of the Puma shoes on both sides, you have the traditional Puma stripe uh, in suede. And this is a cream type of a suede very very nice which adds to that whole og vintage vibe now moving down to the midsole that's where we have a lot of uh technology going on here and it features puma's Iniva lightweight midsole that's one component and then there's another component which features the cell dome technology which is basically this bubble pretty much it's a huge bubble that starts pretty much around the arch of the foot and then goes all the way to the heel um and then here is specifically where i think that rude knocks it out of the park and this that's why rude is so sought after and the reason is because rude has a very unique ability to distress and transform products for them to seem or appear aged finally we make our way down to the outsole featuring gray color with decentralized traction pattern, which also features Puma and cell branding. I almost forgot a very important detail, and that's the fact that Puma and Rude were classy enough to throw in a second pair of shoelaces in this cream off-white color. Personally, I think it's the way to go, not the black laces. With these off-white laces, this shoe is gonna be in a different league. Just figure these laces with the midsole, it's gonna be a killer combo. So I'll throw them on feet and I'll see you in a bit. When it comes to the drop date, the Puma Cell King Root collaboration released globally on September 5th, 2020. Moving on to pricing, these sneakers retailed at 150 bucks, both euros and dollars uh, across the pond. And now you can pretty much on the resale market, they're not going for nearly even that price um, for smaller sizes you can still find them out there and they are you know ranging from anywhere between a hundred and twenty dollars to two hundred dollars when it comes to fit i always suggest trying a pair if you can before purchasing them um, but specifically on this case for puma kings for me 
true to size works. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you very much for tuning in once again. You guys are stars. The family is growing in a serious fashion. It has been beyond my wild, wildest dreams this start of the year. It's been awesome, so thank you very much. And remember to subscribe, do it, do it today. Hit that notification bell and leave a like. Also, leave a comment in the section below. Naturally, now you have been duly briefed and we can officially declassify the Puma Cell King Rude collaboration in the black, white, and cream colorway. Remember, always fresh, never, ever stress. Until next time. Darkest hour, I wanna come for you.